afternoon. It's Monday afternoon and uh, just travelling up to to do a little bit of spraying on our winter barley. So I'm in the 6.4 as always. It is the sprayer tractor. So I fixed it off the diet feed up and uh, going up here just to try and get they say there's about 26 or 7 acres up here. Try and get that done this evening. Uh, I've got another 12 acres to do tomorrow and a little bit to do for a neighbour as well. I've got about 40 acres to do for a neighbour. Uh, so, uh, but that's tomorrow. So, just pulling up now, coming near the field at, at the minute. Uh, I'll have to open the gate and we'll get spraying. Um, I'd be hoping now that we'll see a, a lovely lush crop when we pull up here. It should be starting to grow fairly nicely. It's about a week and a half now since it was fertilised. So yeah, should be should be starting to do fairly well. So we'll have to we'll have a look at it once we get out here.
Okay, so we're almost finished this field. This is the second of the eight acre fields. So we're just going to leave one more field now at the back. See on the GPS, we're just doing the last little strip here. Uh, we've got this side of the boom is closed off because we are overlapping into the, the tram line on that side. And uh, just we're coming to the end now, we'll turn off the middle. And so that's just leaving now uh, this left hand side here as we're looking forward. So we're just coming to the end now so we can close them all off. And that's that. Field completed. Now we'll just uh, we'll close up the booms. It always closes a little bit quicker than the other. Now, once they close up, you just uh, drop them down on this little hooks there that they sit into. Uh, it's like a transport position. It just stops them from, from moving around then if there's any bumps. Now, this other section that we're going out into now, it is a little... Uh, it's a little wetter than the rest of this land. This land is fairly heavy but overall these front fields are all all nice and dry but this back piece is always always that little bit heavier so um, some of it is land that was uh, reclaimed. Uh, there's a, a really wet and boggy part here on the bottom of it that you can't really do anything with. Um, there is a bit of wild grass grows on it and uh, we have put horses on it a few times over the once once it's all eaten down, or sorry, <laughs> once it's all cut, uh, we put horses on to eat it down uh, before before ploughing again. That's been done a few times, but um, yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see how we get on out here. There's a few places that is really, really wet. This top side here is not too bad here where we're just going out into, but uh, there is a, a really wet area up along the top here, and then once you go over on that far side, but uh, yeah, we'll just have to see.
all right. Uh, that's the spraying now on that plot of land finished for now. Uh, so as I said earlier, we will be doing a little bit of spraying tomorrow. Uh, we've got to finish off our own bit and uh, the bit to do for a neighbour of ours as well. So we'll be taking a bit of footage of that as I'm doing it. Try and get, try and get maybe a little bit more external footage when I'm doing that. Um, yeah, we're going to hopefully maybe get some fertiliser on towards the end of the week on our silage ground. Uh, between the end of the week and over the weekend. Uh, I want to try and get all that out uh, on the silage and hay ground. So that's that's a little bit more that will be coming up later in the week. Um, oh, I wanted to give a mention or a, like a shout out to, to a YouTube channel I've been watching for the last probably about a month or so, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, it's a YouTube channel, it's it's on American farming. Uh, I watch quite a few American uh, farming YouTubers. Uh, got quite a, an interest in American farming. Um, and some of you might know we travel over over to the US every other year. Sometimes, sometimes we go maybe every year, but uh, at worst it's every other year. And uh, yeah, I've been interested in just what goes on on the American farm. So. But this uh, is an American farming channel with a bit of a difference. Uh, the channel itself is called The Harmless Farmer. Um, he's a guy called Andy, who uh, was unfortunate uh, to be born with uh, no arms. And it hasn't stopped him one bit from continuing in his endeavours in farming. It is just an absolute uh, amazing channel to watch to see what this guy can do. Uh, as I say, I've been watching him for a month, and every time I put on one of his videos, I just end up astonished on what this guy can do. He can, he can do almost every task that me or you could do on the farm. Just absolutely fantastic. Uh, seems a really nice fella too. So I'm really enjoying his his videos at the minute, and uh, it. It's really worth checking it out. Uh, as I say, he's called the Harmless Farmer, and uh, check him out and see see what. So as is always the case, uh, you run out of battery just right at the very moment when you're trying to finish off the video. Uh, so I'm just back up feeding now. Uh, as I was saying right at the end of that video, uh, the Harmless Farmer, go check him out. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Just absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah, an inspiration to us all. That's all I'll say. Um, so I'm just gonna, just gonna continue to feed on here, trying to get finished up. Uh, more spraying tomorrow, so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be back tomorrow with some more, more uh, spraying videos. Uh, might do a, maybe a hook up video in the morning when I'm hooking up the, the sprayer. Just I'll show you what all connections there is on it and uh, what way I connect everything up. So. Until then, uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, and like the video, and uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. See you then.